A uh, Ferrari 246, similar to the 206, except the 206 has straight arms without any crook in them. A 246 uh, combination switch, uh, Ferrari, of course. And uh, we're just demonstrating that this is the white-bodied switch that came on Dino's up to, and in some uh, serial number that we don't know, uh, mid-1971. And then this is the common Vitaloni black-bodied switch. Dino used both this switch that had a wiper that had three separate positions on it, off and park, slow speed, and fast. Whereas the uh, earlier Dinos came with only a two position switch, which was either off and park or variable speed. Now we also are gonna demonstrate the variable speed rheostats here. But most importantly, we wanna say that we have modified this black cowling because when this white switch was no longer available, they put the black bodied switch in. The black bodied switch does fit in because it uses the same bolts to bolt it in. However, because the black bodied switch has nine o'clock and three o'clock arms and the white bodied switch has 10 o'clock and two o'clock arms, oftentimes to accommodate the black switch in this they cut the windows out larger. As a matter of fact, this cowling right here, when we received it, was cut out larger to fit the earlier black bodied switch. We have welded in all the aluminum on both sides and recut the windows to be for the correct movement for the white bodied switch. Now the white bodied switch, once again, is a two position wiper arm. There were some rare black-bodied ones that were two position as well. And that is another bit of detail that we can discuss later. But essentially what we've done is put the correct switch for the 71 246 Dino into this cowling, modified the cowling so that it fits the windows properly. Now we're gonna demonstrate, or Matt's gonna demonstrate here, how the variable speed wiper motor actually operates on the rheostats and we might mention that the original rheostat for the uh, variable speed wiper 0 to 75 ohms looked exactly like this one I have right here which is actually for the dimmers on the instruments. The uh, correct resistance resistor for variable speed had much finer wire on it 0 to 75. This is about 0 to 10. When our customer sent it to us he thought this was the variable speed resistor. This is an aftermarket from some other vehicle. We don't know what it's from, but we're replacing it now with our zero to, to 75 ohm ohmite switch, which we have modified with a new nut and made a special threaded collar for so that it fits through the hole in the dash uh, just as the original dimmer and variable speed wiper rheostats fit. So. Uh, we're just going to show again, here's the cowlings that are different. This is for uh, one version and this is for the other. You can see how the windows are much higher in it. Okay, so Matt, tell us what you're up to here. Uh, we're all wired up. Uh, we had to change some of the wiring because this, well, it, the, this switch was wired for two speed, but now we had to switch it back to the variable speed. So we had to change some of the wiring in the plug and now... Oh, well, that's on. So that's off or park. Let's just watch that it will always park in that position no matter when I turn it off. It's going to go back and park. So that's park. There's on. And now I can use the rheostat to increase the speed. And there's variable speed fast. Okay and then I can turn it off in it'll park. Very good. Okay, so uh, again, we have had to do a little modification of the wiring in order to return uh, this to variable speed because it had a two-speed switch in it before that, by the way, wasn't wired correctly anyway. Uh, we have a complete, do you have the papers on these right here? Yeah, it's... So this is a complete description that we're providing our customer with describing the differences of how it, or, or this is actually how it will be wired 
in the same four pin configuration for the wiper uh, uh, extension. And uh, this describes exactly how the variable speed works. So he'll be able to plug this into his car with no problem. I think that's it. Is that right, Matt? Yep. Okay, well, thank you for your attention.